Welcome to another edition of Talking Models. Today we're going to do a review of Jeff Yeager's new piece, Dr. Helsing. This is one beautiful, beautiful kit. It's another installment in the Hammer line, being done by Jeff Yeager and Paul Gill at Gilman Productions. We're going to take a look at this beauty. Of course, you get the certificate of authenticity. As you see here that you get signed by Mr. Yeager and Mr. Gill. This is just a beautiful addition to the line. If you remember the first one was Christopher Lee, second one was Gina, third one is this gem. Just a beautiful beautiful line. As you can see the piece here you've got a nice base with uh, little tidbits from the film. You get the spinning wheel if you remember was involved in one of Christopher Lee's deaths. You get the crucifix, you get the hand, and you get the body. As you can see, it just blends so well. Let's see if we can move it up a little bit. It's just very nice. We'll kind of slowly turn it around, get you a view of everything on the kit. Spin it to the back. Jeff's got a lot of detail in here. A lot of uh, things, like I said, from the film. That's all beautifully, beautifully in there. A really great one. We'll kind of take it apart a little bit so you can see how everything is. Of course, you got, you get, basically you'll get one, two, three, four, five pieces. You get the base, like I said, that's just loaded, as you can see, with so much detail. Kind of spin it around this way. Spin it around once again. So you can see the back. So much, so much, uh, detail and like I said so much from the films you know the barrels you've got the the bag of feed you've got the jar here another bottle you know just so much you remember the hook that in the Brides of Dracula that was hanging in the back just so much done and very nice very nice size as you can see of course the casting on it I'm taking a peek around the base as you see, kind of looking at it with me, if you will. Uh, very well done, uh, Paul Gill. Very nice and clean. Then we go over here to the good doctor. As you can see, just a beautiful, beautiful likeness of uh, Peter Cushing. You've got, remember, he had that, uh, like a fur uh, coat over here. You've got his tie. You've got the uh, shirt showing, of course his hair from the film if you remember, uh, the look on his face, everything is there. And as I look at this one, you've got, you know, just your minimal cleanup. And uh, like Paul does with all the kits that he sends out, he kind of cleans them up a little bit for you. Bravo, Paul. And he's done that on this one. So it's very, very minimal uh, cleanup on this baby. Just beautiful. I just, uh, I mean, just look at the likeness. I'll get you nice and close so you can see what I see. Just very, very well done. And I love the way they executed this piece. They seem to be doing this with all the hammers. Just how everything, you know, flows together on it. You know how you've got, instead of an arm and everything, they're they're combining all the action into simplicity. I mean, you get the hand, as you can see, plug and play which you just come over here and you add this uh, you add the hand in here look it just sits beautiful but there's so much action but yet not a lot of pieces I, I hope I'm making sense then of course you have the crucifix as you see a lot of detail that uh, Jeff has in this crucifix and of course that just uh, sets right inside of here and you've got the crucifix on you got the hand on you take the wheel that took uh, Christopher Lee down when the wagon tumbled over, if you remember that, and all that into this piece. You know, I just, I, I can't say enough about the way that uh, Jeff is, you know, at making these things work. And a new way to look at bust, you know, a quarter scale bust that we all love. And they, of course, less shelf space and they just pack so much. So you picture Christopher Lee, Gina, Dr. Helsing, 
you know, and just as this uh, series goes and pays homage to the Hammer horror films, which you either love or you hate. I love the horror of the Hammer. You remember Hammer Horror Red? Freak Flex even named a color after it. So, if you're in the market and you're a fan of quarter scale bust, and you're a fan of Hammer Horror, and you're a fan of Mr. Jeff Yeager, and if you're a fan of great castings, boom, everything's here. So I'll have the information in here for uh, contact Mr. Yeager and let him know that you want one of these and you can contact him and send payment. And then Paul Gill, the molder master and caster, will get one done for you. And before you know it, you'll have this beauty on your bench. So thank you today for stopping in for this uh, review of Dr. Helsing and for joining me today in Talking Models. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, what are you waiting for? I think I'm five away from 300. Thank you for all you newbies that have jumped on board. I'm always open for suggestions, uh, things you'd like to see, uh, kits you'd like to know about. I'm going to be doing some reviews again coming up on my new airbrush from Sotar, from Badger, I'm sorry. And so much, you know, coming down the pike. Uh, up next, after this episode, about a week or two, will be a painting tutorial on Gilman's Alter Ego by Jeff Yeager. Another beautiful kit. And then the Joker, which I have. And hopefully we'll be getting painting that one down the pike. Just so many kits to paint. So many things to do. Not enough time. You know what I'm talking about. So thanks again for stopping in. And as always, may the Lord bless your day.